In the discourse surrounding corporate responsibility and ethical conduct, companies such as Boeing find themselves compelled to prioritize safety above financial gains. Are these planes safe? Right now, I would not. You know, it's like an earthquake. You know, it, a big earthquake is coming, but when, when that hits, the building that, you know, you, let's say if you're talking of a building, have to be prepared to uh, accommodate that type of a, let's say, shakeup. You know, it has to be built properly. Right now, from what I've seen, the airplanes are not being built per spec and per requirement. So you th your testimony is the 787 line and the 777, the 777 line, are, are, you think are not. Well, they, they are doing stuff that increases the risk factors. Okay, when you increase the risk factors, you know, it's not just one. You are doing stress concentrations that those stress concentrations, like, you know, breaking a, a paper clip, you know, you do it once or twice, it doesn't break, but it breaks at some time. As the plane gets older, you know, all of these things that, you know, you took, you know, you said it's not a safety issue, it becomes a safety issue. And the company's response to you was to threaten you? Threaten you, sideline you, you know, transfer you. You raised concerns about the 787, and so they transferred you, transferred you to the 777, right? Well, in, yes. Initially, they just cut me off of all the meetings. Huh. They took my name out. And then, so I was just doing nothing. I wasn't informed of what. Then they transferred me. And they do it pretty stealthy. Oh, we have a job over here. We want you to go over there. So they move you down there. And, you know, I come from like 40 years of engineering background. So when I see, and I've taken a lot of stress, class, stress classes, even though I'm not a specialist on that, but when there's a problematic area that you see, you can recognize. Scrutiny falls upon the engineer's testimony, unveiling systemic flaws within the organization where safety apprehensions are disregarded in favor of meeting production quotas and maximizing profits. The discussion delves into the ethical integrity and individual autonomy within corporate conduct. It prompts reflection on the repercussions of an engineer compromising personal values within a professional setting, sparking a multitude of inquiries regarding the equilibrium between organizational allegiance and moral obligation. Critics castigate Boeing's handling of engineer apprehensions, denouncing them as unethical and potentially jeopardizing public welfare. They advocate for robust protections for whistleblowers and advocate transparency in corporate decision-making processes. Concerns are raised regarding the necessity for stringent regulatory supervision to uphold safety protocols and restore public faith in institutions like Boeing. Subsequent reforms are deemed imperative to avert similar incidents and rebuild confidence in the aerospace sector.